Hey everyone, Kyle Jason here with another video. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about two of my favorite books for beginners getting into web development. So a little personal side note, I actually started with my first book in web development. Um, it was called The Fundamentals of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript by an author named John Duckett. This was about five years ago, so the book's a little bit outdated, and the two book suggestions that I have for beginners are actually by the same author. So Beginning HTML and CSS by John Duckett is, I think, the best HTML and CSS book that you can get your hands on. The reason why is all of the examples in this book are extremely visual and you see exactly what would be represented in your browser on the pages and he walks you through each example in very plain and easy to digest language. So I took a couple shots of the book uh, just so you guys can see exactly what I was talking about, about how visual it is. So in this example, I believe John is explaining how to float images within uh, text uh, containers that have text. And as you can see, it looks exactly the way that the results that you would get in your browser are. So just to reiterate again, this book is very good at showing you exactly how things would look um, when you're testing out and going through the code examples in the text. So another reason why I really enjoy this book is because um, John touches a little bit on design uh, theory as well. So there's sections on typography for the web as well as color um, and ever so briefly uh, layout as well. And I mean uh, layout theory, not just um, strict uh, layout with markup and, and floats and tables and things like that. So he also takes a second to go over uh, CSS grids. And this is something that's really important um, in today's design and today's web development. Uh, there's a big stress on multi-platform and multi-device and different browser uh, compatibility. So learning how to lay things out with a grid system and create your own grid system in CSS is really important. Um, and this book does a really awesome job of kind of showing you examples of multi-column grids uh, and teaching you exactly how to do them. Um, so if you pick this thing up, you'll know exactly how to roll your own grid similar to Skeleton or Bootstrap. And don't worry guys, I'm going to be doing a very simple beginner's tutorial on making a CSS grid, so make sure you guys subscribe to get that video. Now, after you've learned HTML and CSS, and you're all good with markup and kind of static sites, and you want to add some interaction and some dynamicness to your sites, you're going to want to go with John Duckett's book on JavaScript and jQuery. Like I said, when I first started, he actually had this in one book, so he had an HTML, CSS, and JavaScript book. But as of the latest editions of these uh, books, he split them up into two, one focusing on HTML and CSS and one focusing on JavaScript and jQuery. Similarly to his HTML and CSS book, in his JavaScript and jQuery book, John does not give up on his very visual explanations. Um, so right here you can see that you are learning about uh, JavaScript objects, but he has these nice clear tables with all the properties um, in them and he has you know a visual picture representing the objects in the background um, not only is this just a really good way to learn uh, objects in programming and and mo modeling them after real world uh, entities but again it's just the visual nature of these books i feel really lends to uh, learning these concepts that are new for beginners Something else that's really awesome about this book in particular is um, that's a different from a lot of beginner JavaScript books is that John really stresses um, your approach and the way that you think about a problem before you tackle it in this one, which is really interesting, um, especially when thinking about a language that is so powerful um, and that you're going to be doing a lot of different things with um, on the web. It's important to really not, not only learn the syntax um, and how to do things, but also to how to think about problems and execute them. And I think this book does a really good job of doing that. Um, again, these are my two favorite beginner web development books. Uh, I'm going to be doing more videos like this, and as well as more book reviews on design books, as well as some more advanced uh, JavaScript and jQuery books. So stick around for those. I'll have a link to where you can get both of these books, as well as them as a bundle in the description below. If you like that video and you'd like to see some more book recommendations by me, don't forget I'm also going to be doing free online resources videos, so subscribe to stick around for those. These just happen to be two of my favorite books for anyone just getting into HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And one reason, one note why I would like to say books are sometimes better than online resources is because one, you can reference them whenever you want while maintaining whatever you're working on on your screen, as well as books prevent you from doing the inf infamous copy pasta, 
Sometimes when you're going through online tutorials, you have the urge to just copy and paste some CSS, especially when you get frustrated and things seem don't seem to be working. But with a book, you're kind of forced to go back and read through the example. So I think that's beneficial for someone who's a beginner and just getting started. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.